looked in the hedges around me, I can see many men taking shelter behind the bank with it wearing their steel helmets. Garage, we've got our 4.2 inch. Infantry have advanced across the open pool view and into the brush to increase his traction and prevent sinking in. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're here with the truck again. Get some more done with the truck. Um, but yeah, no, thanks for tuning back in. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button again. I keep saying it, but it does help on these videos and keeps me wanting to do more. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into the brakes this time. Uh, I've got some of the panels being shot blasted at the moment, so I'll do that for a different video. But for this video, it's going to be stripping the brakes down and rebuilding the brake system back up. So let's get into the video. All right, so it's time to get the wheels off. This side is left hand thread because of working on the near side, which is driver's side. I was thinking about that end because it's a uh, left hooker. Um, yeah, so we're going to get the wheels off, left hand thread. We've got big tools and big bars because these haven't been off for a while. Let's get the wheels off then. Obviously, I need to jack it up first. Don't forget that. I'm gonna jack this up in the middle on the on the spring. Jack this up on the spring so that it'll take up both the wheels. And I've got the other side jacked up the same so that it's safe. Lots of axle stands and blocks of wood so I don't get squished. Um, well, I can't even turn that, so it's, I don't know what's going on there. Um, we take this one off first, and that tire's flat as well, so that's another problem. Okay, so what we've got here is the wheel nut which obviously left hand thread tightens up to the to the brim so you take that off and let's see that one's um, spinning hopefully it's just undone because then the inner um, stud holds on the inner rim like this <laughs> like that luckily Well, kind of luckily, it's undone, but now it's stuck in the wheel. <laughs> sort that out later. So the inner stud holds on this wheel. So that one's off, because that'll come off with the first wheel over there. That one's already off, so now I've got to take off each one of these studs to take the inner wheel off. All right, to do this, you're supposed to have a nice World War II proper tool to get onto these sort of square nuts on the end of the stud. But I haven't got one of them. So I'm improvising, and what I'm using is a big adjustable and an even bigger bar. <laughs> so let's see how that goes. This is a banjo axle. Um, just noticed there's some writing up there. That's pretty cool. Never noticed that before. I'll have to see what that says after. Um, anyway, so we've got one, 
two, three screwdriver flat heads to get out and then the drum should slide off. Really sure to turn it up. Something's happening. There we go. Hello. So it's quite dry in there, but the problem we've got is the wheel cylinder has leaked brake fluid over pretty much everything. Sure is. That shouldn't really be on your brakes. So I'm gonna take it apart, check the hub, make sure the hub seals okay, and uh, just put some new shoes on it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna service the wheel cylinder, so I'll video that as well. So you can see when I was, when I was trying to turn it to um, to get the drum off, I was turning this um, this bolt and this bolt here, so that it would turn uh, this on the cylinder and uh, adjust the brakes in and out so I could get, well the shoes in and out, so I could get the right, drum so off. What I've done, so what I need to do is get these shoes off. So what holds the shoes on it, um, obviously there's a pin at the bottom, with a clip on it, and then you've got this, same with the other side, and then you've got this long, big ass spring here. So, ow. What I've done is I've made myself a tool. So it's just an old screwdriver and I've cut a V into it. So that what I can do is put the screwdriver in to uh, the spring and then tap the spring out like this. Just before it comes all the way, I'll just show you. So now you can see that the the spring is about to come out of the shoe and all I've got to do is tap it one more time and it will flick off. And then as you can see now, tension has come off the spring, the tension has come off of everything to be fair and the shoe will just simply come down and then down here we've got a clip which we bend backwards Bend that out a little bit, not too far. And then give it a tap and out she comes. And then hopefully the pin will just comes straight out. And that's one shoe off. And then you just do the same on the other side. Ow. Let me just crack them off. Two, two bolts at the back, one there, one there. That one off as well. And then, try and get one handed. And then also then the will come off. So I'm just gonna clamp the flexi with uh, this little clamp. Stop any more fluid coming out. Okay, there we are. All right, so I'm just going to show you how um, these come apart because um, it's good to service these all the time. And then you've got an aluminium. We've got an aluminium piece here, which pulls out. And then you've got this bit of rubber, which comes out like that. And then you've got a 
big spring. And then it's the same on this side. Okay, this should come out of here. Like that. There's the bit of rubber, which would be like that. There's the other element. I mean, look at the state of that in there. It's definitely seen better days. And that's why the uh, wheel cylinder is leaking and that's why there's brake fluid everywhere. So there it is laid out on the table. So we've got two aluminium cups, two bits on the outside, like the adjusters, I guess. And then you've got a big spring and then two rubbers and then the wheel cylinder itself. And that's literally all you've got. So you just want to all clean it up. You can get a honing tool or clean it up best you can. Bang it back together and then you get brakes again. You can get a rebuild kit if you want, whichever. Um. get this big spring in there which is going to be fun go on rest yourself Good job wearing here. Oh. All right, so we've got spring on, cylinders on, it's all bolted up. I've adjusted these, which turn this. Uh, well, it actually turns those. So. It's adjusted right, so let's get the, the uh, drum on.
Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. Um, comment, tell your friends. But thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully we'll get more bits done uh, in the next coming videos and we can get back on the Jeep as well and get that thing sorted. Uh, so stay tuned for the next episodes coming up. See you soon. I was going to say I'm halfway around, I'm thinking, <laughs> I fucked it up. You are useless. <laughs> Make a brew, Mitch. Oh <laughs> god. god. I don't even know where the cap's gone. Right. Why are you giving me that? No.